Hey, welcome back lads, so let's talk some more about the multiplayer mode here in Black Ops 6, because now that the beta is over, we have had some more time to kind of take it all in and review the game. So yeah, there is a lot of positive things about Black Ops 6 so far, however, there does seem to be one major thing that people are worried about, and that is the maps. The map size and designs are causing some concern in the community, and so much so that the developers at Treyarch had to come out and release this statement. They said, that most of the maps in the game are going to be medium sized, kind of like Summit from the OG Black Ops and Raid from Black Ops 2. Now they also said that map flow and variety are critical for the player experience, which is completely true. We know that maps are like the most important part of any Call of Duty game. Maps can make or break a multiplayer experience and Treyarch says that Black Ops 6 will have a great mix of map sizes, which is nice to hear if it is actually true, because the beta was pretty much just a small map mosh pit and a lot of us were kind of worried that the whole game might just be that, might just be nothing but small or small-ish maps. Small chaotic maps are fun but if you overdo it then that's where you know you start to have a problem if there's nothing else to the game but just these tiny maps and yeah an example of that is that they do list the map skyline as a medium sized map but nah man I just I can't agree with that. Skyline is definitely a small map as was pretty much every map in the beta as I said apart from maybe rewind that was like the only map that I would say is a standard, like average, medium sized map. And that is why some people are worried, because we want and expect most of the maps to be like regular size and designs like the maps that we saw in Black Ops 2, 3 and 4, you know, those style of maps is what we know and love from Black Ops, so yeah, I think I could rant about maps and map design for hours, this stuff is serious to me, but anyways, the fact that Treyarch came out and released this statement I think is a good sign, because it shows that they are not deaf, they do hear our feedback and our concerns, which is good. And then also in the tweet, as you see here, they released a list of all the maps that they list by size, and also a video that gives us a sneak peek at those other maps. So at some point, either probably next week, I'll do a video for breaking down all of these maps, and I'll take a look at this gameplay of images and stuff that we've seen from these maps, and kind of what it tells us and what the maps could be like, and what maps they could be most similar to. So yeah, I'm going to kind of break down those other maps. Even going back months ago to the first Black Ops 6 reveal, there was a more multiplayer section where they talked about multiplayer map design, saying that they know what the fans want and so there is a focus on medium sized three lane maps once again, like the map design of Black Ops 2 or 3. So, What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane maps. We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like better for hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. Why did the beta not show that? I don't know. I don't think any of the Black Ops 6 maps were like that bad, I don't think they sucked, but maybe it's just not a smart choice to overdo the smallish maps. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they purposefully gave us a bunch of smallish maps because the beta is a test after all, they're like collecting data and stuff, so smaller maps equals more engagements and more data to collect, but who knows. I just think that it would make a bit more sense if they swapped out one of the maps that we got for maybe Vault or Lowdown, which seem to be more standard maps, and also if I was to make a COD game, I think it just makes more sense to have mostly medium sized maps than a handful of small maps and a handful of bigger maps for, you know, variety. And that is about all I have to say on that for now, so stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.